Hello VR enthusiasts, this is Reverend Kyle. In this video we're going to take a look at a new toy that I have. It's the VR Viewer from Yay3D. We're going to take a look at how it works, uh, attach it to a 7 inch tablet, and uh, I'll give you the full rundown and the specs as we go along. So let's take a look at it. Looking at this a little closer, you can see a couple things are very obvious right away. Number one, this thing is 3D printed. Now this is an actual original prototype that was sent to me from the developer. A little ways back and uh, I've had an opportunity to play with this for a little while before he decided to go public with it and um, it, it's 3d printed it's very strong it's very sturdy and yet it's pliable enough so that when you put your tablet in uh, it won't be a problem to get it off or to put it back on or just in, in terms of keeping it stable it, it works fairly well you'll also notice that um, you know it's actually exactly the same on both sides so it's it's basically two of the exact same thing and it's glued together which is fine because these guys right here which hold your lenses move in and out and so you can actually see I don't know let me turn it upside down maybe I'll give you that so you can see that it comes all the way out slides all the way in and that gives you quite a wide range of IPD capabilities. Now, uh, it is stable, it is sturdy, so it does hold that. Once you get it into its sweet spot, it'll keep it there for quite a while. So unlike some other viewers that exist out there, it's not going to move as you take it off, put it on, put it away, that sort of thing. It can accommodate for people with very, very, very small IPDs or the ridiculously large ones. No offense. If I decide to go ahead and put my tablet, and I have here a Nexus 7, this is the uh, the newer Nexus 7, it just slides in just like this. So there's these little clips, and it just goes right in there, and on the other side, ta-da, okay? So, and it's holding it pretty well. So when you go to uh, put this on, you just hold it up to your head, no big deal. But you can actually hold it by these. You can hold it. I find myself kind of doing one of these guys. My kids will hold it like this. And uh, and they've actually done it with some off-brand 7-inch tablets. So uh, if you have one of those uh, generic um, Walmart type of brand 7-inch tablet, it does work fairly well. So that's how it works. You can see that there's a separator there. And I'll go ahead and turn the tablet on and... I don't have anything uh, loaded up. We'll load it up with some things, and I'll show you here in just a minute. But I just want to give you a, a good idea of how this physically attaches. And you can see that if you decide to do some augmented reality type of stuff, the camera is still able to be used. And again, it's not going anywhere. But then when it's time to take it off, you can just push it through, or you can just unsnap it. Either way, it's up to you. So let's take a look at some software. So just like other Android viewer type of gizmos here, basically you have the Open Dive or Dorovis Dive software available on the Google Play Store. And one of those, which is very commonly requested, is the roller coaster. And so the Open Dive roller coaster uses the sensors inside the actual Android device for tracking purposes. And so when I put this on here and I go to view the roller coaster, which I understand that you're not getting <laughs> a whole lot of value out of this, but I'm just trying to show you the, 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 the concept here. So you look it around and this is where you go to try to find your sweet spot and you say, okay, this is where I want to do it. And then you sit back on the couch and you ride your roller coaster. So that's one of the ways to do to use this product. Now, one of the other cool ways to use this product is that there are quite a number of YouTube videos. Um, there is uh, other videos that you can download, for example, that are stereoscopic, and you can actually look at those as well. So now there's no tracking here. So what you end up with is this becomes a 3D movie viewer. Now the screen resolution on these tablets are pretty nice. So what you end up with is a relatively handy little viewer that's giving you a decent, uh, and I don't know what, what this is going to show or not. That's kind of creepy. <laughs> but you can see by the way the lens works, it's got a nice little sweet spot. So 
you're going to end up with a relatively decent uh, perspective of this video. Or if you want to play the games, you can play the games. But, uh, you know, as a product that allows you to view um, content from an Android device, that's not just a phone. This isn't your uh, Drovis Dive or your Alter Gaze or anything like this. This actually uses a 7-inch tablet, which gives you a much, much bigger screen with which to look at. And I'll tell you, I'm very pleased with the level of immersion that I do get out of this product. I'm actually also pleased that my kids are getting a big kick out of this. So for those of you who are familiar with the videos that the Rift Kids have done, they spend quite a bit of time with this product. So uh, if you're looking for somewhere to spend 50 bucks to get a viewer for a 7-inch tablet, I think this is your guy. So I guess another fun thing that this product uh, can do is actually be a viewer using a program called Splash Top uh, for what's on your screen. So if you've got somebody who's using their Oculus Rift, uh, and you can see here that I've got an Oculus Rift piece of software on. Uh, I've actually got the Rift Max Theater started up, and I'm using my Rift to move the screen around, and you can see that I'm seeing what's on the screen. So if I put the viewer on and find my sweet spot, then I'll be able to watch as a player or to use uh, the Rift on their computer. So as I'm moving this around, this is this is moving as well. Hopefully that comes across to you. So Splash Top is a fun little gizmo uh, or a soft piece of software that you can use along with your Rift, and uh, you can have this VR viewer be a secondary viewer of uh, what's going on on the screen. Now uh, latency is a little rough, and it might get a little uh, choppy, but you know, as things progress, it's definitely something that you want to consider when uh, looking to whether or not you'd want to purchase this. This might be a fun uh, novel of a reason with which to get this uh, this viewer. So there you have it. That's the uh, VR viewer from Yay 3D. Um, you know, I typically, when I'm wearing this, uh, I, I typically take my glasses off to, uh, to view this. And uh, once you get that sweet spot by adjusting your, uh, your IPD by a pulling and adjusting these things uh, it, it really is a lot of fun and you can just you know sit back and watch it or if you're using a game that requires movement uh, or, or, or anything like that it, it definitely does the job so you know for $50 uh, it's not a bad little toy to grab especially if you do have a 7 inch tablet uh, it also works with the um, the iPad uh, minis as I'm being told so uh, it does work with the glasses but I, I find I don't need to, to wear them so uh, either way it's up to you so uh, this has been Reverend Kyle showing you the VR viewer from Yay3D